tell them. Okay. We haven't told anybody. We like haven't. literally for the past two months, it's just been under wraps. Two months. Yeah. Two years. Two years. No. Oh. Well. This is our coming out video as boyfriends. <laughs> the church bells weren't a hint, bitch. <laughs> No, we're not. But I feel like everybody thinks we are because we're always hanging out in the same places all the freaking time. And we always finish each other's... Sentences? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> You're so annoying. But like, we're the only two gays in this town, minus the DLs on Grindr. <laughs> so I feel like people think we're dating, but we're not. Not each other's types. Two tops don't... Ooh, two tops. <laughs> I... No. Two bottoms don't make a top girl. Anyway, hello queens, welcome back to another fantastic week with Monsta in the game once again, you already know. The GL. With that. We're here to talk about our year in review of 2023 and then our optimistic views for 2024. This is also giving um, something we wanna make a fruition in 2024. Details under wraps. <laughs> Private Twitter, only fans. Alt account, girl. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, on to the video. What was like your favorite thing about 2023? Honestly, not to be cliche, your party. <laughs> Iconic. Oh. You guys haven't even seen the freaking series yet. Oh my God. Coming sometime early 2024 for sure, but I have to like record the confessionals. It's gonna be a full freaking thing. Coming my 30th birthday. Dead off. My, my 25th years. birthday. <laughs> What about it though? Like what was your favorite part about? The parts I didn't remember. Girl, that was like half the night. <gasps> you remembered less of my party than I did and it was my party. Dead fucking ass. <laughs> it was, I have not been that intoxicated since that day. That was a vibe. Oh my God. Does juice. I, Anybody watching this knows does juice. If you know, you know, girl. My favorite thing about, or like my highlights, I guess, cause I have more than one thing. One, she is now a official SAG actor that happened early 2023. What? But then I got super busy after joining SAG where I was a part of a festival, Rose Arts Festival, and I really wasn't acting in anything. And then when that was over, SAG was like, we're on strike, girl! And here we are. I was in one freaking movie called Where Are You Christmas from Hallmark. I always love working on Hallmark. It's love. like my love, truly my first love. It was my first set. It's synthetic cinema, I love working with them. They are the production group that does it in Connecticut. My party was a very iconic moment and I can't wait to like edit that footage and like relive the moment. Uh. It's gonna be amazing. I guess on a more sappier note, like living life with friends and fam. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where the fucking Leo comes in and is like, fuck the feelings, girl. <laughs> Ta -da! What other big things happened this year? I think those are like the biggest things that happened this year. Oh, I lost like 45 pounds this year. So I mean, that oh. was a, a highlight. Uh, twin. Uh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very mundane year. It was a very emotional year for me. And I've had many, 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 <laughs> many, 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 many breakdowns. But we're dealing it. We're dealing through it. 2024 is going to be the year of coming back and sure. being iconic. For 2024, what's your biggest aspiration in life? Uh, my biggest aspiration is to be happy. You know that's from? Get the fuck out of your own apartment. Like you Cinderella know story? From. It's Beyonce's song. Who's Beyonce? Get the fuck out of your own apartment, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of your own apartment, girl. What do you want 2024 to be? A change. A change. I'm looking for change. A change, yeah. Not like a sex change. Ooh! My biggest thing for 2024 is... Not like people take advantage of you and you're happy now? Yes. Very much the fuck of that. <laughs> no tea all chain. <laughs> that have less fucking mental breakdowns and get my shit together. And I also want to like, girl, stop. <laughs> I also want to save my fucking coin, get my finances in more fucking in line. Yeah. So then hopefully by 2025, change can be my thing of 2025 and like I can get the fuck out of here. Bad change. It's out. You just gotta make it happen, girl. Manifest it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have so many fucking quarters in popcorn before. I have lived in farming towns all my life and I need to go to like a city. Like a city is really calling me. Like I need a change and I feel like the city is where I can thrive. 
Right. I feel like I'm a city girl. Never lived in a city. I love visiting the city like Boston, orgasmic. New York is not my vibe. Like not to live, like to visit, gorgeous. We ain't making this minimum wage anymore, honey. Period. Yeah. 2024, well, leaving my job. I need to get a graphic design job. I'm getting my bachelor's in 2024, which is gonna be exciting. Graphic design job, girl. You're on the list for 2024 for sure. Yeah. Very I mean, optimistic about 2024. I feel like everybody on social media is on the same wavelength of like well, 2023 yeah. broke us and Which 2024 one? is the year of like rebirth and are you optimistic oh for sure are my optimistic guys oh my god girl he oh, is such god. the cynical fucking gay like i can't deal i don't know how we're friends i we're not you're right anyway queens this is being a little chaotic i hope you guys did like this video <laughs> If you guys did like this video, Stay if you it. guys are optimistic, Being put down, days. oh my God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> put down in the comments down below what you are hoping for 2024 to be for you. Anyway, queens, <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified when I post more videos. And until next time, queens, you better go out, write those aspirations down, girl, make a mood board.